a last minute type of review. I was not originally planning to do this and um, doing this review is going to put me behind on some of the um, trailers that I want to watch and get in the reaction and critiques that I want to get recorded in preparation for being away for a while, a week and a half or so. Um, so I'm not sure that I'm going to have enough material to put up videos on the weekends, but I will have something that I'm going to put up Monday through Friday at least. But I wanted to get this done because this is for Bad Boys 3, Bad Boys for Life. I'm a little late obviously getting a review out because it, this movie's been in theater since I think January 17th, but I just saw it today. I was just able to get around to seeing it today. And I have to say that overall it was a lot of fun you guys and in fact i personally believe i well it's not just me i went and compared the the um the reviews and ratings for the first two movies beside this one and this one has the highest reviews of all of them and while i was watching it i can see why it's just to me it's um it's not that the other two movies were bad they were fun, you know, very comical. The, the, the relationship between the two main characters is very, it's, it's very funny to watch because, oh gosh, the relationship between the two characters is a lot of fun to watch. I mean, they bicker like an old married couple. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. And by the time this movie has come around, it's been many years since the second film. The second film came out in 2003. Obviously, this is 2020. So 17 years, a lot of time has gone has gone by. And the two have aged, you know, accordingly. Mike has not grown up yet. He's still the playboy that he always was, you know, in the first two movies. And Marcus is still the married man, afraid of his wife. However, I will say about his wife, I had mentioned when I did a reaction video to um, one of the trailers that came out, I had mentioned that I did not like um, Marcus's wife's character. She was so unlikable to me, and especially in the first in the first movie. I uh, didn't notice it quite so bad in the second movie, but yeah, in the first movie, she just really grated on my nerves, you guys. I mean, she was very unlikable, very domineering, and he was obviously afraid of her. And I know, you know, in some stories, that sort of thing is comic relief, but to, to me, after a while, uh, it, it, it got old and it made her not a very likable character. But in this particular movie, while there were still elements of that, you know, dynamic with you know, with their relationship going on, it wasn't quite as um, annoying as it was in the first movie. But, okay, so getting back to why I personally think this is a better film than the first two, it has more depth to it. It's got more emotion. It feels more serious, more raw. It feels like they're taking themselves more serious as a whole. So like in the first two movies, you're watching it, and it almost feels sort of cartoony, especially the second movie. Like, you know, the, whatever, they can go through whatever sort of crazy experience and chases and, and shootouts and fights and all this stuff. And, you know, nothing's going to happen to them. It's so cartoony. Um, it was fun, but it was still kind of like just not serious. Like, you know, like you're watching a Roadrunner episode and people are getting clobbered, but they're still okay. That sort of thing is what that reminded me of. But when you come around to this movie here, there is definitely more edge to it and the danger is real and um, a life is lost of, you know, one of the characters in the, oh, I mean, there there's loss of life that goes on throughout, but as far as, you know, the, the, um, the, the, the main sort of, people that are involved in the story, you know, the, the group of people that we follow in this story, the, um, the protagonists, there is a life that is lost. And I expected it, but when it happened, it was still, you know, pretty, it was like, man, that, that was really sobering. And Will Smith has much more dramatic presence in this film. He was more comical 
and the first two and he is still comical i mean there is still that there's a lot of laughs in this movie but he definitely shows off his dramatic side in here and when i say dramatic i don't mean dramatic in a negative way but dramatic with with regard to being able to act drama you know he's been in dramas we know he he can do it but this character has been so comical you know he didn't really see it too often really never in the first two movies that i can recall and i recently um re-watched the first one and then watched the second one in preparation for this one just like a few days ago i watched the second one for the first time but this one yeah it is certainly just more um more energy to no not energy that's the wrong word more weight there's more weight to it with the characters and the new team you know that that they had that they have to work with they they were a good addition i feel to to these two characters and they have to learn how to work with this you know other group and the younger generation and and the little conflicts that go on with that were were really you know it was fun to watch the dynamics with the character the characters were were really good and the story was pretty well written it had um you know a lot of action certainly now michael bay did not direct this one he was involved in it but i i don't think he directed it i saw another name attached to it and i didn't recognize who it was it looked like it was two names but i might be wrong anyway but um yeah it just i don't know just overall it was a really good package and i like the emotional um stuff woven in to all of the action and the suspense and i feel like it was um I, I think i have that picture on there twice sorry guys that looks like that's a second picture anyway whatever so um yeah if, if you're a fan of the first two i really think you guys are going to like this one if you're not so much of a fan of the first two you still might like this one because i think it's so much better um you know, I mean, obviously you take them all three as a, as a package, um, but this one is, is my favorite of them all now. Um, yeah, I, I really, this was fun. I, this is something I could watch again and again. It was that good. And yes, it does sort of set you up for the possibility of a fourth movie. Now, I don't think one has been confirmed, but Bad Boys 3 has been performing pretty well at the box office it was number one like three weeks in a row now yes it was in a, it, it came out in a time where there wasn't a huge amount of competition but it's been doing pretty solid uh so i would not be a bit surprised if we end up hearing about a fourth installment in this franchise and hopefully it will be well written and the characters will be just as entertaining and engaging and fun to watch as they were this time around so yeah i highly recommend it you guys check it out i think that's it for this review i'm going to wrap it up bye